everyone. Our last video, we talk about Ming Chen tea. And this one, I want to share with you which ones are my favorites. So let's start off with tea from Zhejiang province. So we're referring to Longjing tea. Now, Longjing tea comes in the Lion Mountain Longjing and Meijia Wu Longjing. They are flat and um, little chubby leaves. And two mountains that I tasted, Lion Mountain um, carries the green bean and nutty aroma quite strongly. So that is the first thing you would notice. And then a hint of flowery floral. I really like this one because it's smooth, it's that nuttiness that is very, very beautiful. Now, um, also the Meijia Wu. Now, Meijia Wu, similar leaves, but color of leaves, but a little bit shorter. Um, they're quite expensive. And if, if I have to choose, I would actually go with the Lion Mountain because I enjoy the nuttiness a lot. And if once you brew it, the tea leaf actually looks like this one here. Okay, so... Um, and the mate going back to the Meijia Wu is a little bit milder in nuttiness and uh, lighter, a little lighter and orchid aroma. Um, I prefer the nuttiness to be stronger. It is very precious Meijia Wu, but uh, Lion Mountain is my choice. So the next tea, we're moving on to uh, Bilochun from Jiangsu province, one of the top 10 most famous screen in China. Now this uh, Bilochun here, uh, you see a lot of tips, small leaf variety. Uh, what you can expect is maximum smoothness. But unlike other Ming Chen green, this tea offers you a much bolder finish and mouthfeel. That's what I like about it, and that's what typical what uh, Bilochun offers. But it should be smooth, and um, this one particularly has a light astringency and leaves your palate with a long lasting sweetness, and that's how, why I like it. In, uh, if you prefer a little bit more bolder flavor, definitely that would be a choice to go with. And that's also one of my favorite this season. Our next thing, we are taking you to Anhui. Anhui big province for the green tea. Ming Cheng green, uh, this uh, what I have on my hand here is Wang San Mao Feng. Very famous for the for the green tea, Wang San Mao Feng from Wang San, of course. Tippy, uh, what you can expect with this tea is a grassy aroma, like lighter tea liquid in color and rich in oil. So it is very, very smooth and it actually sits very well in your throat. It's just very, very subtle, very um, soothing to drink. You can, say, I, uh, you can say that. And then a mild sweet aftertaste. So that one is a good one too. Now lastly, I want to talk about a little bit about our signature green tea. Our signature green tea, also same as Wang San Mao Feng, comes from uh, Anhui province consistently beautiful every single year. It's not a commercial farm. This tea comes from a family-owned farm. They do it for fun. They don't even do it for um, for business. And his friend's my father. So uh, this tea do have a special place in my heart and beautiful every year. Full body, sweet nose, so you can smell when you smell it. Bang, that sweet note really dawns on me every single year. Um, it does carry a bolder flavor, very grassy, and it finished with a lot of lingering nuttiness, earthiness, so very complex tea. I just want to uh, quickly talk about how, we talked about in the last video, we also mentioned how to brew it. So I have a little tall glass here I wanted to show you. For example, tea like that, when you were ready to consume it, so you want to pour this out, or you can just drink directly from here and then you want to leave roughly so this will show you a little bit better roughly about if you film right to the top you want to leave it about one third of the cup with water and then you refill it with more water for your next infusion people who drink directly from the tall glass you just want to drink it if some leaf falls into your mouth perfect because that adds more flavor to your to the taste so just chew on it and um, enjoy the tea and one very last thing i wanted to mention 
Lime Mountain Y would be my number one pick for Ming Chan tea. It's because the tea leaf, you can also use it later on to make a very famous dish called Long Jing Prawns. Is uh, because that nuttiness pairs up beautifully with seafood. So um, you can also try that. Um, have fun with it. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a comment below. For more tea content, like, subscribe, and share. Cheers.